Hello everybody, today we'll again take a look on one of the servicing tasks and we're gonna talk about starter on CFM 56-5B which is on the A320 and actually I really like this starter because it's really maintenance friendly uh, the old plugs are based on a bionic system so you don't need to lock wire something and if you have proper tool which we have of course even draining is very quick so uh, let's perform the servicing and uh, they will gonna perform draining of the starter and uh, then replenishment but of course uh, part of it is uh, inspection of the magnet chip detector or yeah magnet chip detector which is down here and yeah then we will gonna drain it so let's go first of all we'll remove filling port overflow yeah you can always expect a bit of oil from there and then chip detector yeah as you can see it's uh, clean there is there are no metallic particles which is great and yeah we need to measure the amount of the oil which is inside the reason behind is that we need to know uh, if the oil is if there is no leak if the oil is not uh, going somewhere and we'll find out by measuring the amount which we actually drain uh, we can make actually our uh, drainage even easier because uh, we don't need to remove the drain port if you have proper tools this is adapt uh, this is a starter a drain adapter which we will install instead of a mag chip detector and uh, it have a holes if you take a look yeah uh, and through that the oil will flow out uh, we have our filter to see if there are any particles and measuring can of course we need to know we uh, need to get somewhere around half of the liter if we have more than half of the liter uh, the starter is serviceable if it will be less uh, we need to change the starter but hopefully that will not gonna be our case so what I need to do is just plug it in and oil we're gonna start low it goes slowly but that's what we want okay meanwhile it's uh, draining i can tell you a bit of the starter even though i made a video about starting system but um, let's do it one more time starter itself is mounted on the accessory gearbox which is connected to n2 shaft starter is uh, pneumatically supplied so the air comes from the bleed through the starter valve which is up there which i can show you a bit later uh, through the start when starter valve opens it will supply compressed air uh, to our starter inside of here we can find an impeller which thanks to the air flow start to spin then inside we can find gearbox which of course change the ratio and uh, centrifugal clutch whenever the starter start rotating the centrifugal clutch will expand and it will connect to the shaft which is inside of the gearbox that way it will start turning the engine whenever uh, whenever uh, the N2 shaft reach 50%, FADEC or EEC will shut the starter valve and it will remove the air pressure which is delivered to the starter, which will slow down the starter rotation. And whenever the rotation of the starter will be lower, the centrifugal clutch will disconnect 
and starter will stop. That's basically the principle of the starter. So here you can see starter valve about which we've been talking about and it is installed on the duct which leads to the starter itself and the air is coming from either high pressure ground card or the other engine or APU and whenever we receive the pressure in the duct uh, through this air through this pipe the air gets into the valve itself and whenever it gets command from the EEC thanks to this uh, muscle air the valve will gonna open and it delivers the air into the starter but this uh, valve can have malfunction of course and in that case we need to operate it manually and how to do that of course you need to be in contact with a colleague in the cockpit thanks to this uh, phone jack or pilot uh, and whenever you get information from the cockpit that you should open starter valve you will just pull this lever and you will open the starter valve uh, manually that will allow the air get into the starter when uh, engine reach uh, around 50 percent of n2 uh, you will get again information from the cockpit that you should leave the lever and it will automatically close because this valve is uh, spring loaded to the closed position and yeah that's more or less all about starter valve so let's go back to starter so uh, meanwhile we drain the starter we will clean this later on and here's our measuring can and it is on 700 milliliters and our filter as you can see is clean there is nothing which of course is good so we know that uh, there are no particles oil is clean active detector was been also clean so yeah we can start with uh, replacement of uh, all o-rings we have one on uh, filling port one on overflow port and two you can find on active detector so I'll remove the o-rings and we will install the new ones new o-rings and we can install it on you need to take a look it's duplicate no so yeah that's the one thing now feeling and overflow rings For the feeling we're gonna use starter hook which will later on hang up here so we can start with filling and we doesn't need to measure anything because overflow port is here exactly to give us exact amount so whenever we we'll reach required volume the oil will start to flow out of the overflow port easy as that so now we just wait until it stops flowing from overflow port meanwhile we can remove the starter hook
filling port we can already close as, as I said it's bayonet so it's easy to install and it holds nicely later on I will flush this as well isopropyl okay I can say that this is enough now I will clo gonna clean it with isopropyl so all remaining oil will be removed so we're not gonna confuse anybody after uh, next coal opening that they will find some oil on it and they're gonna uh, they will not gonna be sure that if it is leak so we need to properly clean and yeah that's more or less it okay this is all about starter on this a320 if you have any questions please write them down in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to answer to you as always please don't use this video as a replacement for the maintenance manual but always use latest documentation released by manufacturer uh, thank you for your time my name is Tomasz. this was a recommend with zeto and i'll see you next one bye